Yeah, I do feel bad for Jay. Also, I'm afraid to like comment too much about like stuff like that. Not just Jay specifically, but like things that happen to people I know. Because I don't know if they want me to do it. Because not everyone can take it like I can. Right? Not everyone can deal with thousands of like fans trying to cancel you or trying to get you to like do something they want. Trying to guilt you kill guilt trip yeah, English. Guilt trip you into doing something. And like I might say something that gets for example Jay in trouble. By like trying to defend him and make things worse for him, right? And I don't want to do that. So I can only say, you know, it's not my battle to fight. I can stand up for him and say, you know, it really sucks that he felt like he was forced to not stream. But I'm not going to be like, these beep, 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 right? Because I don't know how people will react. It's like, oh my God, Jay associates with this guy's toes who promotes the things he says. That means Jay should be canceled even more. And I think one day, 100% with me, people in my circle will be pressured to not associate with me. I think that will definitely happen one day. And I also think a few of them will give in to public pressure because they won't be able to handle the internet. I think that day will come probably within the year. I think a few friends will like speak out for me. I think a few friends will disassociate from me, but I think the majority will just stay. So there's like, there's a bunch of gray area and then there's shit that's just not okay. And I think people worry a little bit too much about every small thing in the gray area. Anything that even goes near the gray area. But also keep in mind, don't forget the reason why you guys love to comment about this stuff is because you like these people. You like Toast, you like XYZ other sort of edgy content creator, and the reason you like them is because of how they are. And at, at, you can't strip every aspect of their personality away in the, I don't know, in honor of being extremely PC or whatever. I don't know, just something to keep in mind. I wanted to read this because I saw, actually a friend linked this to me. I haven't really been on Twitter this morning, um, but I wanted to read it with you guys. Addressing my problematic past and being canceled. Mind you, I will say very transparently, I have not spoken to Toast about this. I have no idea what this is about. I mean, I can kind of guess, but I don't actually know. So I'm reading this first time live with you all. Since I've recently received a thoughtful and well-written message regarding some Twitter stand drama about my problematic past and people's attempt to cancel me. How do I say this? Cancel culture, in my opinion, has a lot less to do with holding people accountable, typically, than it does with fueling one's ego and feeling better about yourself for putting someone else down for things that they have done in the past. And the reason I say this is because the majority of the stuff that I see being brought up in this recent cancel culture are things from years ago. Are you really trying to hold someone accountable for something that they no longer do and may have already apologized for? Does that really make sense? It's no longer holding someone accountable. Is it? like? Someone emailed me a list of problematic things I've done in their eyes, and that's making the rounds in the Twitter stand circles, and normally I would say, just don't watch my content. Not in a dismissive manner, but simply as, this is just my humor. But it has been brought to my attention that there are literally people crying about it, and even dragging the people I care about, namely my friends in OTV and Amigops, into it by pressuring them and condemning them for interacting with me. Shit on me all you want, but I always draw the line at attacking my friends. So let's take a look. One, he's a racist. As someone who was spat on for being the quiet Asian kid in school, being called Jackie Chan all the time, hearing Ching Chong when I go out to eat at a restaurant, I've experienced racism myself. This obviously doesn't make me immune to being racist, but reading an offensive joke doesn't make me one either. Hmm. Hmm. 
He's a racist off stream. What? In a podcast with Destiny, I mentioned that privately streamers say and do things that the public would find distasteful. This is the truth. This is the truth. <laughs> There's a reason why the majority of streamers keep their lives so private and try to only show the positives <clears throat> of their lives to their audience. They say we are discussing the next member of OTV. I would say, are they Asian? Because we are too Asian. We should diversify with a white slash black guy. Obviously, we don't pick members based on race. Does that mean everyone in OTV deserve to be canceled and forced to apologize for not then running to Twitter and publicly condemning what I said in private? No. Is this an expectation people have? I would truly hope not. I hope you guys can see from our past actions that when we feel something becomes truly problematic and can potentially harm others or is truly that bad, we do condemn that person privately and publicly if necessary. Obviously, none of us think that anything Toast has said or done crosses Maybe, a boundary or line I don't line know. I like really that. think you can take anyone's... <laughs> I'm sure you can go through any streamer who's been on the platform for a long time and, and cherry-pick examples of things that toe the line. If that's what toes the line, I don't want to know how many times I've crossed it. And if you know me at all... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually, I would say I'm one of the more PC streamers on Twitch. But, like, I'm sure you could find stuff that, like, if you just take little clips out of context, I'm sure you could paint me as a villain. And I, I think you can paint anyone as a villain, and especially when you have um, people with, like, viral communities, like Carl or Toast, you can really zoom in like there's so many of them that like it just takes one person to clip clip one thing out of context and it just blows up in your face and it's it's just ridiculous i don't i don't know and i i, I read toasts this morning i woke up t to see a twit longer from him and when i clicked it you know when i first thought i was like huh, it's toast it's gonna be like fuck you little nerds or something <laughs> i don't know you know like those like troll twit longers when you click it and you're like haha made you look or something i legit thought it was gonna be about that and then it was like this real thing, and it's like, I, I'll show you guys his twit longer. It's quite long. It's, um, it's quite long, right? And he's, he's not really apologizing in it. And I don't think he should, <laughs> because, um, apparently there's like this like thread about him that like shows a bunch of examples and... I just, I don't understand what people are upset about. I just don't get it because he definitely makes like some darker, edgier jokes, but they're so clearly jokes. They're so clearly like he's always stood up for what he believes in. He always speaks up even when he isn't, um, even when he doesn't need to be. Actually, he's like, to be honest, oh my god, I'm gonna cry on this. Um, something like near and dear to me is like women in gaming, right? Like that's something you guys hear me talk about quite often. And he was the one of the first people to really step up for girls and to speak out and to call his audience out. That's really, really difficult to do when you don't need to. And it's just like, do you, I don't know. He was honestly such a like a pioneer for that. And I don't know. I, I just think he's always been someone who speaks up whenever he thinks things are wrong. And so, like, if you know him at all, you know that like he would never ever. He doesn't. I don't know, it's just like, there. He, he makes some jokes, but like, they're so clearly jokes. You know, I, I, I don't even, I, there are things that, um, have traumatized me in the past. And yeah, I, I, I do, like, some things are too sensitive for me to joke about. But I can't expect the entire world 
to not ever joke about anything, right? Like, one, you know that it's not meant to hurt you. I don't know, I think a lot of things you have to understand, they're not meant to... It's like the intent behind it, right? Like, whenever you say two different things, or whenever you say the same thing with two different intents, it's, it's, it's very night and day. I, um, I'm not really explaining this, so I'm a little flustered right now. Yeah, it's like when Steve gifted me a, like um, a bunch of stuff that's just like, <laughs> Jesus is my Lord and, and, and Trump is my president. <laughs> like, do, he, do you think he really believes that? Like, do you think he knows? He, you know, all of that was just tongue in cheek stuff. And like, I don't know. I, I feel like you can look at anything and, and get upset about it, but it's just, I think a bit ridiculous. And this is at the fear of Stan accounts and Twit accounts. And I'm not adding every single one of you because there's such, like, like I said, there's such lovely people in those communities. So <laughs> it's not targeting any of you individually, but just some people within that community, I think, um, take it a little too far. And I, I would like people to just self-reflect a little bit. And Boys? Boys? The controller DC'd.